This movie is a historical drama set inside a 17th century convent. It's adapted from a novel by Judith C. Brown titled Immodus X, The Life of a Lesbian Nun in Renaissance Italy. Director Paul Verhoeven is undoubtedly aware of the rich European artistic tradition of satirizing religion, particularly the Roman Catholic Church, with its history of cynical hypocrisy by means of sex. The title character is brought to a convent in the city of Basia as a child during the 17th century by her parents. Benedetta arrives at the convent as a devout young innocent but finds contradictions everywhere she looks. This coincides with the arrival of Bartolomea, who enters the convent while fleeing her violent father and quickly discovers a sexual spark with Benedetta. While paranoia builds, Benedetta develops stigmata and soon she's being treated with reverence by the people of Basia. First of all, despite a handful of headline-worthy moments and a generally blasphemous attitude toward the dogmas of the Catholic Church, this movie can't help but feel like one of Verhoeven's weaker efforts. The movie sometimes feels pretentious, it hopes to shock us, but largely it's just boring. Beneath the clothes of a serious religion-themed thriller is a sex-up bit of non-exploitation which might have a few things to say, but they are all pretty obvious. Beneath all the boobs and the blood, there's not much on offer here. The movie is fascinated by the idea of a woman manipulating the techiest parts of the Catholic Church in order to actually grow closer to her faith. It obviously rejects the idea that our bodies are not meant to be enjoyed, but the movie couldn't be less interested in the theological bargaining that's required for Benedetta to arrive at a similar conclusion. The movie is also so over the top that it skirts the border of comedy. It invites you to laugh along with all of its campy flourishes and easy punchlines about coming to Jesus, its tongue firmly in cheek during even its most serious moments. The movie is somewhat scuppered by its own sense of playfulness which gets in the way of its commentary about the nonsense of religion at its most extreme and its weakness for titillation. The closer Benedetta herself gets to achieving the ecstasy that might explicate her suffering, the further she recedes into the margins of her own movie. There's an unruly feel to the movie, and it soon becomes wearying when it transpires that there's not much in the way of direction. The exploitative approach of this movie seems to want to poke at religious hypocrisy, but it actually reveals the filmmaker's hypocrisy. This is a movie purporting to champion female liberation in a rigid male hierarchy by showing exclusive female nudity and lesbian sex dry humping. There's also a bunch of male gaze silliness in the sex scenes, despite having a woman as cinematographer. The movie often drifts into tropes as well, and the onslaught of brutality never seems to particularly signify anything. There's not too much in the way of a serious argument being put forward. It isn't long before Benedetta is reduced to a cheap symbol of the religious panic that follows in her path and the actress' performance denies whatever interest we might have in the character. If only the filmmakers realized that this movie would be much better if they're attempting to give us a more secular psychological perspective on the mass neurosis in fault. Paul Verhoeven just presents us with a raunchiness using religiosity only as set dressing. Overall, we do not recommend this movie at all.